So the first card is the hat, which says uh, you'll be paying, playing a different role. So you're taking on something new and you're starting fresh with something, um, you know, something that you haven't done before. And you've got the star card over here, which says there's guaranteed success. So although you're taking on this new role, it seems like it's going to be very successful. And you've got the horse that says a short journey. So you might be taking a short trip. Um, you know, it could be a business or it could be even pleasure related, but you're definitely doing some traveling uh, soon. Now, you've got the ram in, in the past, which says you've been dealing with a very stubborn, aggressive person, and you might have had a, a lot of problems with this person. So you've got the clouds, which says these are temporary problems. So this person has been causing a lot of problems for you, and they've been very stubborn, and, um, you know, uh, these are this is just a temporary situation. Now, going into the future, you've got uh, Weeping Willow. So there's been some family issues that you will be dealing with, and um, there's the mule card, which says somebody is being extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So the Maybe this ram person and this mule person is, um, you know, somebody from your family that you're dealing with, and they're causing some kind of issues uh, within the family. Um, but that soon, soon should pass. Uh, you've got, um, you know, um, the star coming in, which says whatever you're going through at the moment will sort itself out, and you will get some success coming in as well. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Everyday Enchantment Tarot. Oops. I have shuffled this deck. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the judgment card over here. So you're being called on to make a move, change things around. This um, is leaving a situation that's very, very toxic and moving away. And you can see this man's blowing this trumpet, calling this woman out of a difficult situation. So things are going to change for you. Uh, you're moving down a different pathway in life. You're at the crossroads in your life. And it seems like you're going to be doing something totally different from what you were doing before. Like the energy card said, you are going to be wearing a different hat. So it seems like, you know, you are making a big change in your life and you're leaving something behind, you know, maybe a way of life that you went through uh, in the past. You're changing that completely and you're moving on in a completely different direction so that's the en that's um the energies of the spread itself um you've got the two of coins over here and the six of cups here so you know there are uh, the two of coins is talking about uh, you know having good friendships and soul soulmate connections with people and the six of cups is you know people within your family so you could have or, or even people from your past so you could be meeting up with somebody from your past uh, reuniting with somebody uh, from the past uh, you know an old friend somebody you knew before and starting a relationship with this person in some sort of way either a very good friendship or it could be a romantic relationship that you're going to be starting off with this person. And maybe you bumped into this person at some kind of party, some kind of gathering, some kind of get together. But, you know, and they make an offer to you because the Six of Cups is also about making somebody making uh, that offer of friendship or love to you. And they're very loyal, this person. So it looks like you're going to be attending some kind of gathering uh, where you're meeting or you're bumping into somebody from the past. And it's, start, it's going to start off a really good friendship or a really good relationship. Now, in the past, you got the Three of Cups, so you have been socializing a lot more recently, getting together with friends and, you know, going out a lot more and, you know, managing to share a lot of your emotions with people. You're getting over a lot of obstacles and hurdles. You've got that strength card over here, so having overcoming, uh, you're overcoming a lot of difficulties. Um, you know, you've got some uh, loyal people around you, but, you know, you have had to work very, very hard to overcome these difficulties. Now, uh, what's in your mind? You've got the justice card over here. So you might have had some kind of power struggle with somebody. There might have been some kind of crisis that ended up in a legal situation. And maybe, um, you know, um, you had to deal with that kind of legalities. Uh, you and this person did not get along or there was some kind of big drama that happened uh, where the justice system was called in. Um, and, you know, you've been trying to sort that out. 
Now, going into the future, you've got the chariot card over here, and this is taking control of that situation and moving on. And the chariot is about, um, you know, being victorious and achieving the goals that you set for yourself. So whatever, um, you, and also moving on, it's about travel, it's about changing home. Maybe you're thinking about relocating or you're thinking about buying a new home. This is a car that's ruled by uh, cancer. So this is all to do with family. So there's also a change in that family situation that you've been going through. Whatever issues you've been going on in a family situation, that will start resolving itself as well. You might be dealing with issues regarding your mother because the chariot is uh, ruled by cancer. So some kind of issues that regards, with regards to your mother... And, you you know, you are going to be able to sort through that. You will emerge victorious from it. But you need to take control and you need to have a vision in mind. You need to be the one in the driving seat. So don't let anybody walk all over you. You need to take control of that situation. You've got the Ace of Cups over here. So some new beginning, a new cycle coming in for you and a lot of victory coming in. You can see they're carrying this cup. A victorious cup you know they've won the swimming competition so whatever your emotional problems that you've been going through you are now getting on top of it and you're starting this new emotional cycle and it seems like you know you've got that two of cups over there so this brand new relationship coming in for you um you know maybe reconciling i said with a person from the past or, or even if you're going through family issues it seems like you're going to be getting on top of it with this ace of cups this could also be that, you know, you're starting a brand new, uh, because the cups deals with education and knowledge, uh, it could be that you're starting a brand new course or some kind of brand new study, uh, and you will be very, very victorious in that particular field. Now, you've got the Ten of Coins, so there's some kind of family issues that you are dealing with, um, and then this card is talking about the end of difficult family problems, but also this could be the end of financial problems that you've been going through. There might be some kind of inheritance coming your way as well, so there's some kind of a payoff uh, that is coming your way. And it looks like it is coming from the family because next to it's sitting the chariot card. So there is some kind of um, uh, inheritance coming in from a family situation. And whatever family situation you're dealing with, it is, you're going to be victorious over it. And victorious over your money problems as well. Um, now you've got the page of one, so it looks like you may want to travel. So this is probably what you want to do next, uh, you know, getting there and taking that energy and taking that empowerment back. So you might be waiting for some kind of news or some kind of um, communication about travel, about moving, about a new job, a new project that you want. So that is what you're waiting for. So going into the future... You've got the Ace of Coins, uh, the Page of Coins, and the Queen of Cups. So it looks like you are waiting for some kind of news that is coming in about a job because you've got this Ace of Coins over here and this Page of Coins. So this is about starting something brand new, uh, new you know, new work that is going to pay off quite a bit. So starting, you know, working very hard, building something. You can see this man's building something. And the Page of Coins is about using uh, that... Um, um, uh, your skills and using all the knowledge you have to do a piece of work. So this is taking the Ace of Coins is, um, you know, that uh, new um, job being offered to you. And the Page of Coins is about getting news about that new job offered to you and taking it and using it. It's uh, manifesting that new job and actually working. So you will be working. You will be getting a lot of news about this new job coming in and new money coming in. You see this boy's getting paid as well. So, um, there is new money coming in, a new job coming in, and it looks like there might be, you know, um, this job might involve some kind of travel as well. So uh, you are, you know, you're very ingenious as far as this money management goes, but you will be starting something brand new and be working pretty hard at it, and it will be paying off. Uh, you know, you will be getting a, a, a good payoff from whatever work you're doing, because you can see in both these um, cards, there, there's the money is indicated here, and this person's getting the money. So it looks like you know whatever new job you're going to be starting is going to be paying really, really well. And then you've got the Queen of Cups over here. So this is you know. Um, Getting over any kind of emotional problems that you're going um, through, um, this is um, maybe there's even some kind of uh, offer being made to you as well. Whatever this job offer is, is going to be something that you really, really uh, wanted, and it's going to be something that you're um, you enjoy doing. The Queen of Cups is also dealing with somebody, um, you know, a maternal figure. Uh, maybe you're dealing with issues with your mother, but that seems to, it looks like it will resolve itself. This is, um, you know, getting over any kind of depression or problems that you're going through and sorting through any kind of um, issues that you may have had with your mother. 
um, that seems to get resolved as well. So whatever uh, is going on as far as the family life goes, uh, whatever's going on in the family, it looks like, you know, there is going to be victory. You are going to be moving on. Uh, and it looks like your job is going to be taking you traveling as well. And, you know, you're starting a brand new cycle as far as uh, your emotions go. So you're getting over a lot of heartbreak. You're overcoming a lot of difficulties with the strength card. Um, and you are moving on. Um, and it looks like there's some kind of new relationship coming in for you, uh, somebody that you reconcile with the past. And you are being called to do that with this judgment card. You are being called to make that change and to move on uh, because it's time for you to, you know, you've been stuck in this energy for a while now and it seems like it's time for you to move away from it. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel uh, Tarot. And that's for the Oracle read. And you've got the chariot card here again. So here you have the chariot card in the main spread and the chariot card in the oracle read, which says an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower recognition. So this is the card of achievement. And it looks like, you know, you are moving away from any difficult family situations, but also achieving whatever you want. You might even be thinking of buying a new home. And this is what looks, you know, it looks like that might be the case. The chariot, you know, it deals with cancer and cancer deals with the home. And this could be you buying a new home or even buying a new car that is coming in to play right now. You've got the three of air, which says great sadness, take time to heal, a need to forgive yourself or others. So you are getting over some kind of heartbreak that you went through. And, uh, you know, this is your time for healing. You've got the balance card over here, which says in time for balance and meditation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. So this is the temperance card and it's talking about healing and getting through any kind of difficult situation. So whatever this heartbreak is that you went through, and it looks like it might have been a heartbreak in a family situation, you will heal from it. Uh, you need to just get your balance back, take advice from people, watch your health as well, you know, look after how you eat, how you exercise, all that, and you know, and meditate because all that will bring healing from this difficult situation that you're going on. But there will be victory. You will overcome these problems uh, that you have been going through. And you've got the chariot card appearing twice. So there's more stability that is coming in for you. And any kind of issues that you have been having in your family life will be resolved. So, you know, you will be able to get over any kind of problems that you've been dealing with. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.